Welcome to another edition of Through the Wire. We discuss all the hottest stories in sports straight from the headlines. I'm John Paul Salamanca, this is Ed Molina. And uh, we first kick things off with the Kentucky Derby this week. Uh, Leave uh, California Chrome one, and, yeah. but oh, really, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> I like watching the ponies run, <laughs> but let's move on. Right, and uh, moving on to uh, NBA action this week. We had a huge uh, NBA weekend. We had five game sevens. I don't think I've ever, ever seen a weekend I, this jam-packed with basketball. From what I understand, it was the first time uh, there have been three um, game sevens in one night, on one yeah. day. Um, and the first one, uh, kicking things off, uh, your team, the Brooklyn Nets. Brooklyn! Uh, <laughs> um, to survive Toronto, and now they're going to be uh, their big reward, playing LeBron James in the Heat. <laughs> I don't, you know what, I don't mind losing to LeBron James and, and, and the Heat, the defending champions, you yeah. know, uh, they, you know, they play lights out. And, and, and please, I'm a Net fan, stop it with the whole, oh, we beat them in the regular season. Stop it, all right? <laughs> it's playoffs, it's different. Um, no, we're going to get swept. I, I don't like our chances. But I didn't want to lose to Drake's team. That's all I gave, didn't care about. Fair enough. Fair didn't want to lose to Drake's team. So. And uh, another team which chances are looking kind of shaky, Indiana Pacers. They just barely survived in a series with the Atlanta Hawks. And uh, now they're coming in limping kind of against the very talented Washington Wizards team. People have been sleeping on this Wizards team. I've been telling you about this backcourt yeah, for, uh, for a little while yeah, now. I'm kind I, of starting to make a believer. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I... I, this is one of my favorite matchups. A lot of people have called this the boring matchup. I mm-hmm. don't. I disagree with that at all. I, um, I don't know what we're gonna get out of Indiana now that we're back at a. They're playing a regular team that that plays a different way than than Atlanta does. But that backcourt, you know, they're exciting to watch. They keep maturing with each every game in the playoffs. I'm excited about this game. Another one to get excited about out west is the San Antonio Spurs. They're going to be taking on the Dallas Mavericks. And uh, both teams coming off incredible series. Is uh, Damian Lillard kind of solidifying himself with that awesome shot. And then uh, uh, yeah, Dallas, uh, the Spurs, uh, Dallas gave them kind of a challenge here. This yeah. Is a very interesting matchup. This is, there's two matches, and we talked about this before taping. There's two matches that we're interested. You're interested in the point guard matchup which is uh, Lillard versus Tony Parker. Mm-hmm. But Aldridge versus Duncan, the past versus the that future right mm-hmm. there. I love this. This is, this is great basketball right here. It's gonna be, that's the one to watch, folks. I really, really like this series coming up. And another one to watch is going to be the Los Angeles Clippers taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder. You had uh, the Clippers coming off a cloud of controversy with the Don Sterling thing. And to their credit, they uh, beat the Warriors, a very tough team. And now they're going to be playing uh, another tougher team in the uh, in, in, led by Kevin Durant. I don't know how to gauge this series. You, you have the controversy surrounding L.A. Um, you don't know if that's still going to be a factor in the series as it was last Sunday. Managed mm-hmm. to overcome that adversity. Um, you know, you, I think front court is going to be interesting to see Blake Griffin versus Kendrick Perkins. Perkins mm-hmm. can play a little chippy, a little dirty. Yeah, a little bit. And how about that backcourt matchup? They have Westbrook versus CP3, the Chris Paul, the two of the best point guards in the league, bar none. It's also different styles because you have your traditional point guard distributing the ball in CP3, and you have your Allen Iverson type of create your own shot. I'm going to take my shot. I see you open. Westbrook, frenetic style, and it works for them. So you're going to see a, a very, you know, a battle of two different styles. It's going to make for a unique, you know, fascinating matchup to watch on TV. So, And moving on from matchups from the hardwood to the squared circle, we had Floyd Mayweather taking on uh, Marcos Maidan in a very big win for Mayweather this weekend. Uh, he was, this was a big, better, better fight than expected. It was a tougher matchup for Mayweather than, than anyone anticipated. A lot of that, the credit belongs to Mayweather and that he decided to... Weirdly enough, to side and, and go toe to toe with him, uh, mm-hmm. picking and choosing his spots, which made for a more entertaining fight. Um, he got cut. Never seen that before. It was a headbutt, but no. he got cut, and it was surprising to see his reaction. He seemed stunned to see his own blood. Like it was kind of uh, surreal me, to so, see. see. For me, that 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 shows something very interesting. The fact that now Mayweather now shows the first time in a while he's looked really really vulnerable in this fight. I mean, granted, Marcos Maidana wasn't a slouch, but. The, 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 seeing the, some of the elements right there, it seems like he may be ripe at some point down the line for his first loss. Uh, we'll see. But the one thing that fascinated me about the whole pay-per-view Saturday night, Adrian Bronner calling out Pac-Man. I, wow. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a <laughs> bombshell. So, but that's something to watch out for. Definitely. And that wraps up this edition of Through the Wire. Remember to tune in next week for more. And to continue the conversation, log on to LatinPost.com.